We are driving down some narrow country lanes in East Kent in the Elam Valley. We're on our way to meet Giles, who is the proprietor of Longlands Farm. Rears these amazing free range ducks, geese, and turkeys. And we're going to pick up our goose and our turkey for our Christmas lunch. So we're here with the geese. These, this flock is being bred to harvest early. Is that right, Josh? Yeah, yeah th these will be ready at the um, middle of November, middle to end of November at the time of restaurants for the Christmas menu through December. Fantastic. They also have food in their favourites. And now they've come to shout at us and tell us to go away. <laughs> Okay, so it's day two of the goose leg preparation process. We left them overnight with salt, garlic, thyme. So that's the first part of the curing. Uh, and today we're gonna cook them really slowly in duck fat or, or goose fat if you've got some. The rock salt comes off, all the marinade comes off with duck fat. Just gonna top that up with a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm gonna cover that. That will go into the oven at about, I suppose about 120, 130 degrees Celsius. And we'll cook that out. And then when it's ready, I'll put a skewer through there and it'll be tender. So that is goose leg confit. Okay, so we're gonna make some stuffing for the goose. Uh, we have decided to cook it separately for two reasons. Obviously now we've kind of dismembered the bird. It'd be hard to keep any stuffing in there, but also when you do cook a bird with the stuffing in it, it affects the cooking time and evenness quite a lot. So we're going to make the stuffing, put it in a dish and bake it separately. Uh, we've got the livers from the goose. We're going to sear our livers. Still want to keep them quite pink. A little seasoning in there. And then here, while they're cooking, we've got some onions and thyme. Just put them in a little bit of butter, a little bit of uh, goose fat. We've got some dry bread cubes. You could use bread crumbs. Uh, I prefer this. This is another little element of texture. We're going to turn our livers over. Nice bit of colour. They're quite big, so we're going to do them on all three sides. Then for a little sweetness, we're going to add some chopped, chopped dry prunes. Nice soft ones. They're going to go into the top. We're just going to use a little bit of water. You could use chicken stock, veg stock, but I want to keep it quite simple. I just want to taste the onions, greens, and livers. Give the livers a little bit. Okay, and keep it dry. I'm going to pop those out. Still going to be nice and pink, hopefully. Yep. So I'll give those little rough cuts. Chop those up, and they'll go back in the pots. So you can see what kind of, we don't want too much liquid in there so it'll just turn into a soggy mess. Just need to soften one egg. We have to work quite quick in there so we don't want the egg to scramble. Just going to pop that in there and that will help it set when we bake it. So we're just going to put that into an oven proof dish and bake that with our goose and that will be ready in the same time as the goose is. Good to go. Been for probably about half an hour now. You can see it's lovely and golden. It's got a lot of fat. I've been pouring the fat off this continually. So we're just going to pop it that way up into a medium hot oven, probably 170. We reckon about 30 to 40 minutes. We're going to have to get a little bit, but we'll do a temp probe. That's going to go in as well. And also, if you remember Clive's lovely concrete goose leg that we did yesterday, we're going to put that in the same time, crisp it up, and that should be, uh, that'd be a great compliment with that. Christmas Day part two. This time with Julia Negri's Barolo and Goose. Uh, and you'll notice a beautiful glass here. This is the uh, sensory glass designed by another maestro in Piemonte. That's Giacomo Contorno. These glasses, I think, will be available for sale as Christmas gifts. If any of you are thinking of getting me something, then uh, definitely one of these would be great. The wine is showing beautifully now and the Goose is looking amazing. We've got the stuffing, prune and armagnac, the confit leg, and the roast crab. So we're just gonna cut into that. Lovely crisp skin. I think that's how you want it on Christmas day. It's 
the goose best cut a little thin. You can see how well Giles has raised these animals in that there's a thin layer of fat rather than a thick layer. The confit leg, which we can just shred, prune, omniac, and the liver stuffing. I'm thinking the Barolo with its acidity, its fine tannins, and just its all round quality is going to be the perfect accompaniment with the goose. Happy Christmas.